Hi, I'm Chef Gail Sokol and welcome to my kitchen. Today we're going to be making my award-winning pumpkin ice cream. And if I do say so myself, I think it's the best pumpkin ice cream you will ever have in your life. I have had many store-bought ones. I have had many from restaurants, famous restaurants with famous chefs. And you know what? I like mine best. So I have it published in my book, my newest book, Baking with Success. So you can get that wherever books are sold. Um, and I hope you will uh, purchase it. So first thing we're gonna do is take one cup of whole milk and we're gonna bring that to a simmer. All right, I have three quarters of a cup of granulated sugar and two whole eggs. This is not as rich a custard as some ice cream. So I'm gonna throw this in the sink. And the secret to a really good custard, because that's what an ice cream is, it starts with a custard. You wanna whisk your eggs and your granulated sugar up really, really well. Almost till the granulated sugar almost dissolves and you really start seeing those eggs lightening in color. A lot of custards use many egg yolks and they don't use any egg whites. And this is a recipe that I adapted to not be as rich, but it's so delicious. Now we're coming to a simmer, so I'm gonna lower that. And what you're doing here is you're mixing this and you can almost see the yolks have disappeared. Their beautiful bright yellow color has almost softened and muted and it's nice and light. And then we're gonna temper our eggs. You don't wanna leave your eggs and granulated sugar without constantly mixing them because granulated sugar, it's a water sucker. It's hygroscopic and that's what that means. Um, it loves to suck water out of things. So if you have eggs in here, it'll suck the water out of the egg yolks and leave these hard little yellow bits. And we don't want any hard little yellow bits in our ice cream. All right, so here we go. I am going to temper my eggs. I have my warm simmering milk, one cup of whole milk, make sure it's whole milk, and we're gonna slowly temper our eggs. So we want our eggs to get used to the idea yeah, hot stuff's coming, baby. And that basically, that's what it's doing. It's basically allowing the, I'm gonna shut that off for a minute because it's getting upset. And it's basically allowing the eggs to get used to the hot temperature very gradually, or else you're gonna end up scrambling them and we don't wanna do that. So once you add a little bit, you can start adding a steady stream and just keep it going, all right? Now I'm gonna wipe off the bottom because it always makes a little bit of a mess. All right, and then I'm gonna pour the custard back into the saucepan. Pour it all the way back in. And we need to cook those eggs. We don't want to have any problems with a bacteria known as salmonella. So we're gonna cook our eggs. Salmonella is usually killed at about 160, but we're gonna use our thermometer, any type of thermometer that you have. You don't wanna use a candy thermometer. You wanna use a thermometer, uh, like a bimetallic stem thermometer, or if you have a digital thermometer, that's fine. We're going to 185. So if you wanna come over and take a look at my creaminess in here. Remember, this is just sugar, milk, we're building the custard for our beautiful ice cream and we're gonna add some beautiful accoutrement to really get this ice cream tasting up to snuff. Award winning. I'm telling you, it's award winning. So the temperature's going up pretty fast and you can whisk it. And I suggest that you do not walk away from this, that you whisk this constantly. You can do it with a whisk or you can do it with a wooden spoon. I prefer a whisk because it keeps everything moving. And you want it to get to about 185. Between 180 and 185 is a good point. And that is when your egg yolks get thick enough because proteins in the egg thicken. All right, so I actually see it boiling. I'm gonna get it off the stove. All right, because sometimes that happens. You just take it off, and I think we're there. 
Yeah, we are there. So I'm going to shut myself off here. And now I'm going to stop the cooking process because I have built myself a, hot, a cold water bath. So I have a bowl of icy water. And now I'm going to pour this through, this beautiful custard through. And that will stop the cooking process immediately. All right? Immediately. And that's what we want to do. So you want to get all that beautifulness out of there. And any little bits of egg that might have cooked, it will catch it. Okay, see that? And it's really lovely. If you look inside here, you can see that beautiful custard. It's a beautiful thing. Lovely. And we did pretty well. We didn't really catch any. Uh, we didn't really overcook the eggs, and they really got done pretty quick. All right? So I'm going to put that in my sink. Once this has cooled down, we're going to add our flavoring agents. And ice creams are made all different ways. I have two cups of heavy cream in here in this big bowl. And then I'm going to whisk in one cup of pumpkin puree. And this is the canned pumpkin puree. You don't want a pumpkin pie mix. Uh, which is in the can. You want pumpkin pu uh, pumpkin puree, pure pumpkin. Right. You don't have to cook your own pumpkin. You just, the canned stuff works really nicely. Delicious. And I have two tablespoons of very high quality maple syrup. Mmm. Very high quality. All right. One teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Let me get this out of the way. And then we're gonna add some spices. And this is where we really need to boost up the flavors of this ice cream. The reason is cold things don't get to our noses as quickly. So we really need to make the flavoring we need to punch it up a little bit, okay? So I have one and a quarter teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. All right, that's the pre-blended spices. It's got cloves, it's got allspice, it's got ginger, it's got nutmeg, and it's got cinnamon. And then I boost it up even more because that's who I am, okay? <laughs> I have um, a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and I have a half a teaspoon of nutmeg and it's all gonna go in there. And if it looks like a lot, remember, it's cold. Anything cold needs a little boost. Ice cream especially. So if you are cooking uh, a custard for ice cream, make sure you taste it cold. So I have a bunch of spoons here because this is my tasting. This is my quality control. And you can see all the beautiful spices in there. You see that in that bowl? And now we're going to add our luscious custard that we have here. Always dry off your bowl because you don't want to get any of the ice water in there and then you're just going to blend it in. All right. And get all that lusciousness in. And then because I just like to give it a little bit of a pumpkin-y look, even though it looks nice and it's a natural pumpkin look now, I'm going to boost it up with a little orange food coloring. Put in as little or as much as you want. I like to just give myself a little bit. All right, so a few drops of whatever you really feel comfortable with. Uh, if you don't want to add any, you don't have to add any. Just be careful that you don't put it on your hands because I always say food coloring is forever. <laughs> it really is. Um, it will not come off uh, very easily. So you're going to whisk that up until you get a nice orangey color. And then we're going to taste it. And remember, it's not ice cold now. Only part of it was ice cold. Look at that gorgeous, rich color. These harvesty colors with the little bits of spice in there. All right, so get that food coloring really in there. And now my taste. You ready? All right, you can see how it coats the back of the spoon. You see how it coats and my finger can actually make a path through it. That's a beautiful custard. I'm not gonna put it back in. It's 
luscious. We are not ready to freeze yet. Don't make the mistake of putting your custard into your ice cream maker yet. Ooh, loud noise. We need to chill it, plastic wrap, cover it. All right. And I like it to sort of get mellow and all the flavors get jiggy with each other in the fridge. So come with me to the fridge. We're going to put it in. Till it's really, really chill. That could be overnight, could be a couple hours, whatever you want to do. You want to see this ice cream? Award winning pumpkin ice cream, baby. And I love to accompany it, accompany it with my um, caramel dip nuts. And I have a video on that as well, so you can look that up. But they are amazing. I'm going to try it. I've got to try it. It's so creamy and it doesn't have all the yolks that most custards do, so it's a little lighter. Oh, it's so good. So, so yummy. So I hope you get this recipe. I hope you get my book and enjoy this. It really is the best and the last pumpkin ice cream you will ever want to make because it's that spectacular. Until next time, I hope you become a subscriber. Take care.